Hey guys, so this is the do it yourself wedding broom for jumping the broom ceremony at your wedding. Let's get started. Um, hey, I'm Miss J. Um, my mom, Rachel, mom passed in January. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be making the wedding broom for jumping the broom. Saw a lot of YouTube pages. I didn't see a lot on it, so I decided to kind of doing my stuff. My hair is a mess, but I'm gonna try to make it work. Don't judge my life because this is a task. I've been trying to work on this for a little while. So, um, you're gonna start with your flowers. Have your broom here, ordered it off of Amazon. Um, then you're gonna start with your flowers. So what I did is, you know, from um, Michael's and um, Hobby Lobby is where I got some the prices on these um but i pulled off some of the leaves because i don't want that much greenery on mine um i actually don't have a lot of colors for mine because i want to pass these down to my kids um so or jump in the broom for them so i'm gonna go ahead and start the process now this is probably the longest process for me because the placement it has it's kind of everything to me um i want to make sure they place correctly and then once i place them then we'll kind of go from there okay guys again this is going to be the longest process for me um i am a perfectionist in <laughs> It just seems like I cannot get it right when it comes to putting these flowers in the right places and just keeping them in place. So, um, as you can see, I am taking away some of the greenery that I have on there. Again, I personally didn't want a lot of greenery because of the fact, or the leaves, because of the fact that it doesn't really match my wedding colors, which were fuchsia and navy blue. And I also want to make sure that once I pass it down to my kids that they are able to make sure it matches. So that's just my personal preference on removing them. You don't have to remove them. Again, it's on what you want to do to make your day beautiful and as lovely as can be. All right. Again, this is going to be super long. Also, don't judge my life, guys, if y'all see that my kids are going to be on here because they definitely are. <laughs> floral tape so I can wrap it around the base uh, or the stick of the broom. So this is my clarity. So I'm gonna take this one more loop around here because this fly right here is just going to keep moving. One more loop around. Okay. And from there, I think it should be fine. I'll be cutting this. Like that. Broom piece. That's done. So the next piece to it here is going to the next piece is going to be cutting these. So, I've seen some videos where people cut earlier than this, but I'm going to go ahead and cut my nail. So, now I'll probably come back around this and tape it. So, once I put the other piece down, I can go um, more fluently. Okay, so your girl was struggling with this, as y'all can see. Also, guys, I know y'all gonna hear my kids, so don't judge my life. All right, so cut these off. And then I'm going to come back behind and I'm just gonna tape it one more time around here where I cut it at that way once I bring the other piece on it it should be run smoothly so
On another note, guys, I am so dry. I am so sorry. I was so aggravated this day. Um, but I was getting it done. Voila! Woo, woo, woo. There we go. There we go. Okay. Exciting. I know I'm like going this way, but exciting. Um, okay. So... From here, we're going to go ahead and take my tape. So, this is the ribbon. Some people use uh, wider ribbon. I actually didn't know which one I should get. So, I chose to get a little bit. It's not as wide. Let me just see. Not as wide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut about this much off. All right. And I'm going to cut two pieces. And I'm going to explain exactly why in a little bit. I might end up cutting a little bit more than two. We have this piece here, the end of the stick. So with the end of the stick, or um, the end of the broom piece, you're gonna need to cover up as so. You need to cover up. So what I Again, guys, you wanna make sure that you are um, taking the ribbon Make sure you're using sharp scissors for one, but making sure that this is the process of just taking the ribbon, making sure it's covering um, the end of the broom so it won't be seen. Um, also, I had to cut my broom down a little bit so it can fit perfectly. All right, so let's give you some instructions. So on this piece, again, what you'll be doing is taking your ribbon under your ribbon onto the broom. You'll be putting the um, hot glue on each side in order to ensure that it stays in place okay all right bam here you guys go that so what i have also seen people do for a hanging mechanism is um put another piece over here and i may do that but i may do mine with a little bit different ribbon Handle in place. All right. Those are my wedding colors. So I have the silver in here. My wedding colors are actually silver, um, fuchsia, navy blue, and of course white. So I have that. That's my handle. And we're going to start with the good stuff. Okay. So that consists of the rest. Okay, guys, so again, you're going to take the ribbon um, and you're going to start kind of at the top where the end of the handle of the broom is where you just put the other pieces in. You're going to do that, wrap it around. You want to start with one end, hot glue one piece there and then kind of wrap it at the top to give it that look as um, like it had on my broom. It personally had um, had like the plastic over top. So you'll put that um, at the top and then just wrap it around just at the top one time in a full circle. Then as you can see what I do as I go down, I'll start to go down at a slant type fashion, uh, a little bit overlapping just to make sure I make it full um, and make sure that it's aligned correctly. And I'm going as I go. You don't have to use as much glue as I did. That's just my personal preference because I didn't, I wasn't sure if it was going to come off or not because I did have that plastic. A lot of, um, brooms don't have that little plastic that mine came from. Again, mine came from Amazon. Um, and so it did have that plastic on there. 
um, which actually helped some of it, you know, kind of stick and give the um, look that I wanted it to have. So you'll just wrap that all the way down to the bottom, as you can see, place here. And then um, right at the base, my room, because of the way that my room is shaped, I was not able to go all the way down like I want to. And I think I'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, but I went down as far as I can um, to wrap the broom in the direction that it needs to be wrapped in in order to give it the look that it needs for the wedding. Normally people be having that broom and going all the way around here, but unfortunately, where the way I position my um, my flowers, I couldn't do that. Um, I think it's the way that the broom is anyway. I wouldn't have been able to do that. So that's where we're gonna add some bling bling to it. Well, no, not even bling yet. Um, trying to think. I'm going to add the bling. All right. So here's the bling, guys. So what I have, uh, a couple pieces that did come from Hobby Lobby, um, have um, little pearls to kind of give it that baby bra um, breath type of look um, at the ends of those. I do have some, um, like the rhinestones as well. I think I also... Um, have the ones that have the pearls with the rhinestones around it so i'm just placing them there so on a couple pieces as you can see i'm actually putting the hot glue on the backs of the pieces for the bling um you'll also see me probably put um the hot glue on the actual broom <laughs> in that position because as i was noticing that some of it just was not sticking right and then i didn't want it to um you don't want to pull the little straw pieces out, you know, if you have to replace them. Um, also, I did also put some of the hot glue on some of the strings of the bling pieces um, so it can lay down. I took some pieces in the broom. I took some under um, the flowers as much as I can and just kind of spread it out. Make sure that it gave the look that I wanted to have. Um you know, I wanted some bling. I didn't have to have too much, but I gave it what I wanted. You know, you can do, again, do it at your personal preference on what you like. Um, again, I did Hobby Lobby and Michaels for a couple of um, the material that I actually use. Again, guys, as y'all can see, um, I'm trying not to talk too much, but as y'all can see, I'm very, very particular. So I kept fixing the flowers and want to make sure the bling and things, um, the pearls, everything was going the way that I wanted it to go. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to let y'all finish watching this um, in fast time. And here comes a cameo from my kiddos. That's the baby lyric. And uh, Elise over there, you'll see her pop in every now and then. Okay, guys, at this piece, what I'm doing is I'm just taking a smaller ribbon, um, and this happens to be silver um, and I think white in the middle, and just kind of wrapping it um, around what I previously wrapped just to give it another look. Um, I didn't want it to be completely plain, so um, not the handle piece completely plain, so I wanted to wrap it again. So y'all can see that gives it an additional look here. Wrapping it all the way down, um, and I think I'm actually going to end up wrapping it again. You'll place the glue, um, the hot glue, like you kind of did before, just periodically throughout. All 
Okay, guys, this is the finished product. My broom, my wedding was August 20th of 2021. Um, we have the silver white here. Um, again, I will be passing this down to my kids, so I didn't want to do too much color. But here we have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope I could assist. Like I said before, when I try to look, I could not find but about three videos on how to make the broom. So, hope you enjoyed. Till next time, bye.